Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Sparky, and today we are here with the Tezen Mark V first generation MBT, and well, what do I think about this vehicle? I think it's a very, very look like of a Cetirion. It's only four tons less, but it's, that's clearly the truth. It's, oh, actually it's four tons more, not four tons less, but this vehicle was, think about it, like two hours and 49 minutes to make, exactly. But overall, the design of it was actually fun. I enjoyed making the turret, enjoyed making the hull. It was a bit more simple compared to last week's video, aka the Z1 Type 4 MBT. First, uh, fourth generation, that's the fourth one, but this is the first one. But this design was just overall one of my just favorite design. Like, well, it's not really a favorite, but it is a design I do truly like to look at. Like, when driving this thing around, it just it does have a nice look to it. The Saturian design to it, it does look like a, it does look like a very Saturian like vehicle, which is of course I talk about it, I like it. And with that cool design, it just makes me feel. It makes me think think this like it, it looks. It's not a Saturian, but it looks like one. Like you could easily compare the two, which it makes me excited about. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Sprocket, and today we are here with the Tesla Mark V. Actually, to be honest, we got the other two. We have the Tesla Mark I and the Tesla Mark II, which I will show off at a moment, but of course, it, uh, we got the pole. Uh, no, from the last time I did, from the Z1 Type Wolf 4 um, Medium MBT, there were two winners during the pole, and it was the, the Z1 and the Tesla Mark V. So I decided to, of course, make this, and I also made the other two variations since they were very, very similar in design, and it wasn't really too hard to do. So what I like about this vehicle is it's quite weird. It's a very, very big hole. Like this hole is giant. Like when I was like when I was building, I didn't realize how big this hole was. And something else to know about this vehicle: this vehicle is quite not really heavily armed. Especially here, it's only 150. You can use what's there. You can go through here. Like this is not really a heavily armed tank. From you know, overall from the standpoint, just because this is a first generation MBT compared to the um, to the Z1 Type 4, which is like a fourth generation MBT now. I think that's what it is. So yeah, I designed this thing was actually quite fun. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. It was like it was really fun. Just the overall shape of it. When I actually look at this vehicle, I get Saturn vibes, which is funny because this vehicle is literally only like 4.6 tons heavier, or just four tons actually I think it was. And of course, I see this one also has an auto cannon. There are six crews in here, which is showing before, but just because you know, I have this little turn top, we need that two extra crew. Of course, we have the main cannon, a nice 100 millimeter, not 120. It's a nice one. It's really the best fitting trace, like 275 ish or 85. And then you have the little tiny little machine gun, or like little auto cannon, which unfortunately is not an auto cannon, but it's fun still, you know, to use. It's a nice way, I like using these small little auto, like these small like auto cannons, mainly because I actually do like having this extra view from the uh, top. It kind of makes me feel like, I don't know, because this is supposed to be where the commander is supposed to view his stuff, so. Having this viewpoint is kind of cool. It just, it, to me, it's just something I actually like. Of course, I did it also with the Tesla, or not the Tesla, the, the um, Type 1, um, well, I meant the, the Z1 Type 4. And of course, I didn't do it in the video, it was something I did after because it was only a current vehicle. So it always had to be done off screen. 
But I actually do like this vehicle a lot. Let's go explore the other little ones first, or, you know, the other ones. Okay, so this is the Tesla Mark II. To be honest, it really isn't, I don't know why these, there's like, really three and four is missing in it. Probably just doing some else modifications. And what you already know is that the Tesla Mark II does not have the auto cannon top, the little small turret. As well as the back section is a bit more smaller and not pushed out more. Other big difference, of like, well, actually I don't think that's another big difference. When it comes to exterior, just, I think that's all you really can tell. Uh, I think so. Well, beside the radio antenna, it's kind of pushed to, on right, I mean, on the left instead of right. The Tesla Mark I has a 105 non-domesticated cannon from the Galactic Army. And it will be... Wait a minute. I have one of these guns. I was thinking, wait a minute, where's the A5? I have, like, the Blitzkrieg. It's, it's the same gun that came from the A5 Blitzkrieg Panzer of 1, A5 version. Uh, I don't know why to make a new one. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, well. If, I don't know. Uh, beside the gun, it doesn't have the small little box on the front. And it does not have the machine gun as well. So that's kind of how you can tell which is which. I did not remove these. I kind of forgot to in, in certain vehicles. Or at least the 1 and 2. Because it's one of the 4 and meant the 5 thing. But it's fine. It doesn't really, you know. It is absolutely fine. And, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be cool. I actually also want to say I do like the color. It's it's really hard to say what it is, but I do like the color of the, of the vehicle. It is a nice, you know, fresh kind of color in a way because um, I don't really know, like, I don't know. It just it's a nice fresh color. That's what I want to say about it. So let's get into the actual match and actually show off not only just the Tesla Mark V, but the Tesla Mark II, and of course, this little one. Okay, so we're in the match, and I can't see because it's machine gun. But we're right now in the match. It's going to be a 12v12. Originally, it was going to be like a 12v10, but, or 8. But, um, because of course we're facing against the classic army with their only heavy tanks. That's all they have is heavy tanks at the moment. Heavy tank and one MBT. And it doesn't feel right having these heavy tanks against these light armor MBT. They're more light armor. They have more armor than a leopard tank. But, yeah, I think it was fine. Giving them back their, you know, same amount of crew. Or, you know, the same amount of people they can use. Unfortunately, most of our vehicles, we lost like one, two, three, four vehicles to AI dumbness, and we're losing more. I just, I didn't realize where I was going. <laughs> where were we? We don't really know. We just went somewhere. Give me my main gun. Okay, give me my HUD back, even though it does not have any actual effect to what I'm about to do. Luckily enough, I did give them, oh. There goes a Tesla Mark III. I'm at Tesla Mark V. And there seems to be some hammer outside. I don't know if anyone can hear that, but um, we're getting our team wrecked. Our team is our, our division of tanks are getting wrecked. The thing is, and probably very important, these things, of course, do not have a lot of armor. It's just how they are. <laughs> I'll try to take this guy, but somehow they can kill, which is hilarious. No. Hello there. Hello, Project. Ah, oh, frick. <laughs> oh freak, I can't do anything to them. Yes I can. I can, I, I, and I will. Oh, that was, oh, uh, okay. That's my vehicle. So what do we do? We grab the other one. And grab more reinforcements. Um, this is not going well. You know, we thought we were still winning by one. No, we're not, not anymore. The issue is one of the biggest, just that we have one, two, three, four, five, six of us just sitting here. As one is fire, fighting, the other one is coming, aka us, again, or number two. And like, something I did realize is that those, so I did add two, I want uh, the TH-10 heavy tank as well as the TK-72 heavy tank. 
for some reason there's like a bunch of heavy tank. I would hope to add some medium and light tanks as well as some um, first generation or yeah first generation MBTs because that would be cool and it will be something to spice up the um, to spice up the you know opponent's side so they don't have his only heavy tanks uh, look at these wrecked tanks. I know it looks so bad from here, but like, we're still winning. Kind of. Uh, it's not really a good amount of loss we have, like, taken. Uh, took it. It's just we have no armor. We have no. Well, we have no armor to really bounce anything besides upper glaze. Oh, that wasn't killed off. Oh. Hello, friends. A oh, little one. What do you see up there? This is a good way to scout. Oh. Okay, I see a target we can try to kill. The reloading rate on this gun is not really terrible. Oh, he was dead anyways. Like, the reloading on this vehicle is nowhere terrible just because, well, for a 105mm cannon, your reloading is quite good. Hmm. Do we take the risk and say he's alive? No. It's okay if we raise a extra shell on a dead vehicle anyways. The AI does better than we do. At the same time, there's no deaf, um, deaf model that, you know, would tell us that, hey, that guy is dead. And also, I can't tell friendly from foe if we're all the same. Oh, hello, friend. I can tell you're not dead. Uh, hello, friend. Like, the 120 and the 105 can penetrate the armor of the TK-72. Which is nice to know that I didn't build a tank that is too OP. You know, I built the armor, like, built the whole kind of base off of the Soviet heavy tanks. Like the IS-3, the IS-7, I think the IS-5, and the T-10. You know, the pike nose. The good old-fashioned pike nose. Everyone likes pike nose. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes, I love friend, I see somebody. Tar on this boat. But, you know, I... I, I do like building tanks. Like I said, this thing is like very Saturian like. Oh, we retreat now. Ret oh, he shot. He has a longer reloading than we do. Hey, right, there's a shot into him. Oh, we're dead. Sir, we're requesting for your assistance. Get the other Tez and Mark V up. Uh, I'm just going to actually request the entire extra division of all my other crap. Let's see, there's a one, another one, and the rest of them are just twos. This is like the third five I have, and the other one, the fourth one, was killed by AI. And the, the other two that I drove in were also killed. Well, something I do like about this vehicle is actually, I do like the shape. And of course, I love the speed this thing comes with. It's just overall a nice tank design. Uh, climb, climb. Where's my friends? What friends do we have? We have no friends. Where is a stupid, ugly tank that killed us? Seriously, where do you go? Wasn't that ditch, was he? We have to use our special tactic of Blitzkrieg. Uh oh. There we go. Fire in the move. <laughs> Why can't we do that? We don't really have a stabilizer, but we can still. Uh, it felt really. It felt more natural to fire in the move than it did not. I don't know. Despite we have no stabilizer in this gun, which, to be honest, about that, this thing should has a stabilizer. If anything, I probably could add the stabilizer to them all. And it was just make this one, the Mark V, a bit more. Um, Slightly, um, we'll probably put this over, oh, look at that. It would just make this one, um, the Mark V, a bit, um, overweight. But, of course, with the, um, if we have the unlimited cheat on, then it wouldn't really be, it wouldn't matter at all. How do we get these, uh-oh. Stupid little tiny turret, you always cause trouble for me. You may be good for spotting, but you suck when it comes to being... Useful for something. I need to be sneaky. Okay, so when are they gonna come? Hello, friend. You look very, very 
Holy freak, there's two of them. Uh, retreat. Even though they both shot me there, so it's absolutely okay we stay for a while. It really should not be good. Uh-oh. Ow. Oh, we lost the other one. Unfortunately, I don't think the guys won't actually do anything. But I say attack, they were just like, we're thinking we were attacking, but we were all standing around doing nothing. Because we don't really know what to do with ourselves. Uh, there, there they are. Ow. If anything, that guy just lost one person and died. Where are everyone else? Like, that's a real question. Where is everyone else? Why am I controlling all of these? This is not good. Um, I don't really know my own tank's weakness more than the AI do. But I do know this turret's weakness, but I don't really have a good, um, you know. We don't have the ability to range find. So my range finding skill with no range finder sucks. Even though I play War Thunder, and that is where I have a better range finding skill where I can shoot without even needing to range find. But that's easier to say, that's easier said than done. Uh, let's just get rid of one. Let's just focus on one. There we go. Hello, friend. Hello, comrade. You're supposed to face the other direction. Oh, yes, but he's probably dead. Idiots. We're leaning down to three tanks, and it's been a disaster all because I was the one who's in control of them. Maybe we use the other one's dead bait. Thank you, dead. Thank you, cousin. Or thank you, brother in arms. That should be the kill shot for us. Aim for the turret. I did. What did I do? Nothing. There you go. That was a disaster. We ain't going to do any research on how each of them died. There's too many of them. This isn't a 5v5. Five five. How many things did I actually take? command of because oh boy why are there so many things just don't look like they're just they just look like they're just standing there if you guys enjoy this type of content then you know leave a like subscribe spread the channel and if you want to support me more join my patreon and you know it would be really nice if you guys want to support me any way shape or form it doesn't have to be patreon it can't just be through youtube anyway it will be really nice uh, until then, you know, I don't really know which vehicle will be building next. Actually, I do, but, mm, we got to do a new poll. That's going to be the best part. <laughs> uh, new poll. It's, it's around that time. I haven't done one since a week ago. Not even a week ago. It's like two weeks ago. I didn't do one last week because I've said make this vehicle. But, uh, hopefully we can actually make some more vehicles like this. And just some interesting and crazy designs. Until then, I'll see you guys next time, and peace.